And welcome back. Here's a look at our precipitation potential over the next several days. Like I mentioned earlier, we are going to have some sort of a front sagging in the Pennsylvania. For Friday, not a lot of rain with the front itself, but there will be a pop-up thundershower here or there as that front does come across. This orange line that you see moving its way through Ohio and Pennsylvania, that is the, really the big marker line between some pretty chilly air for this time of year and somewhat seasonable air that's going to get shoved off to our south as we head into the weekend. So the air coming in behind this front, it's going to feel kind of fall-like. Temperatures Friday and also on Saturday, for the most part, it's only in the low 70s for highs. That means a good chunk of the day will be spent in the 60s. But it's a mainly dry forecast Saturday afternoon. We are inside of that cooler air, and it's a mainly dry forecast into the weekend. However, with such cold air coming in, especially at the upper levels of the atmosphere, we have just that chance of a pop-up thundershower in the afternoon. But most of us will stay dry all the way through a good chunk of next week. We get into Sunday, and the pattern starts to relax just a bit. That trough that moves into Pennsylvania during the course of the weekend begins to lift out and makes its way northeastward and moves up into parts of Canada. And behind it, high pressure builds in through parts of the Ohio Valley. And with that high sitting in there, that will start to turn our winds around to more of a westerly direction as opposed to north-northwesterly. And that will also help to warm us up as we get into the new week. By Monday, that trough lifts out completely. High pressure sets up along the eastern seaboard. And it's going to be a slow but very steady process, it looks like, as we go throughout the new week of seeing warmer and increasingly humid air come back into Pennsylvania. So it's just a brief cool down. The summertime heat will return, it looks like, as we go throughout the new week. The cool air, though, doesn't go that far away. It does move up into parts of Canada, sits up in this area. But all that heat out west begins to break off once again, moves into Pennsylvania, and looks like things will warm up quite a bit as we head into the new week compared to the weekend.